Hi everyone, it's Cabochon cutting day again. I always get tongue twisted with that. Um, today I've got a bit of a treat for you. The material I'm using is what I would call crystal jeffanite, which means basically that it's pretty transparent. Doesn't have a black background. Now I'm hoping I can cut a nice stone for you out of this. And um, we've got something at the end that will make a nice piece of jewelry. So hang around and um, we'll start very shortly. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art. My name is Jeff and you're still here, which is fantastic. Now this material I made a little while ago when I first looked at it, I wasn't that impressed because it didn't have that black background that I prefer. But I tried to make something that looked like a natural crystal. I don't know that it does, but um, it does have some nice splashes of colour through it. So we're going to give it a go today and see if we can make a nice cabochon out of it. I would really love to hear your comments about this at the end, see whether you like it or you didn't like it. Um, and if you've got any questions about it, please don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you haven't been to my channel before, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos or at least hit that like button. I'd love to have more likes. Let's get on with cutting this cabochon. Being a crystal, it's sometimes easier to find flaws and bubbles. Now you have to be careful because sometimes what looks like a bubble is just a flake of colour. But looking at this, I can see one obvious bubble on the back right there. I think there's another little one just in there. But I think everything else is just flakes of colour. So, decision, which way do we cut this? That way is the face, or that way is the face? That way you can see you've got some nice flashes here of red and orange and the occasional bit of purple and blue over here. That way this gold tends to dominate a bit though you do get still flashes of colour through here. Tell me in the comments which way you would go. That way or that way. I'm going to go that way. That's going to be our face. <clears throat> First thing to do is get a rough oval, oval shape. These uh, crystal gems can make really nice jewellery. Of course you can make them double sided. Um, you can make some really interesting settings to set off the colours. And also because of that we can get some more colours showing up because we've got light coming in from the back. With uh, something that's got a black back pretty much restricted to the colour or the light being reflected out. There's really no transmission of colour through the stone. Just checking there. I think we'll be right. You can see that floor in there. I think once I roll over it, over the um, the dome that should disappear. Okay, just improve that shape a bit more. Actually, believe it or not, I think you can see it better than I can. Um, 
because my eyesight is failing on, well, on me unfortunately um, things up close tend to start getting a bit blurred trying to get that nice curve across there and then to centre the ends close so I'll just square up the sides Let's crack the shape a little bit more see a bubble in there it's deep enough in that I don't think it will cause a problem okay I'll just take a bit more material off around that edge and then we'll put it on the top stick and this is where my fingers always fail me Look, I think I'll go and put that on the top stick now. Okay, I've got it on the top stick. Now we'll just correct our shape, get it as close as I can. Just missing that bubble in there. <laughs> Gotta get a little angle on that edge. Uh, so setting it will be easier and we're going to hit that bubble aren't we I'll just roll over the dome Well, we haven't broken the surface with that bubble, but it may do that in the kiln. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. 
and um, I'll get it in the kiln for a fire polish and tomorrow I'll show you the final stone. Well, what do you think? I sort of like it and sort of don't. Um, I'm still favour the black background for this. I just can't get away from that. Um, so I'm a bit stuck in a rut here. I like the back, black background and oval shapes. But I'm going to try and cut different shapes and do different things for you. So you don't get bored with this whole process. But I think it's worked out, and as long as it's put in the right setting, it should work out as a nice piece of jewellery. Um, but please tell me in the comments, so I'd love to know what you think. Anyway, that's about it for this week, and um, until the very next video, I will say bye for now.